Hello, I'm Scott and welcome to our very first Facebook Live demonstration. I've been a product uh, demonstrator for Luggy for over two years now and I'd like to bring you on our demonstration one of the best selling products that we have here which is the Elite Scooter. Now the Elite Scooter comes in two colours. So we've got the red that you can see now and we've got a very stylish black. So we're going to talk about a few features around the Elite Scooter today. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, the weight. So the maximum weight of uh, the, the weight capacity of the scooter is up to 21 and a half stone. The range that you get on this scooter is up to 13 miles on a single charge. The weight of the scooter itself is around about 23 kilograms. So that makes it one of our lightest scooters and one of the lightest on the market. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some other features that we've got here on the Elite Scooter. So if you come in a little bit closer, you'll see that we've got an LED display just on the top here. So what that does is that indicates your battery life. So we've got four green lights followed by four amber lights followed by three red lights. When we get down into your red, that's when you want to put your battery back on charge um, and get that full charge out of it. Another feature with the Elite Scooter is we've got extended hand grips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull those out and I'm gonna twist away from myself. And that gives you that extra sort of comfort. So when you are riding the scooter, you do have that extra sort of width on your arm grips, uh, your hand grips, so you do feel a lot more comfortable. Your acceleration here is on the right trigger. If you pull that right trigger, you will obviously go forward. Your left trigger is your reverse. So what that does is obviously takes you back. Two very simple controls here on the Elite Scooter. Just on the side here, we've got a, a speed control. So at the moment, I've got that on the lowest speed, which is at two miles an hour. If we turn that clockwise, so if you're sat down towards you, you can get your maximum speed of four miles an hour. Anywhere in between those speeds is absolutely fine. So you can do anywhere between two and four miles an hour. The indication is just a tortoise and a hare. Okay, now what we're going to do is talk around a little bit more around the seats now. So with your Elite, you do get your armrests included. Now your armrests, one on each side, you can lift up. So it makes it easier for you to get in and out of your scooter. That lifts up on both sides. You can adjust the width of your scooter, uh, sorry, your armrests, by simply having a screw underneath, pulling the scooter out and locking it in to a different hole. So you get four holes, which gives you four different widths. Your seat on the Elite Scooter as well is a wider seat than the, uh, the standard that we have. Um, and that basically gives you an extra inch of width on the seat, so it makes it slightly more comfortable uh, for you as well. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the folding aspect of the uh, knee here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna talk you through it. So before we fold it down, obviously we're just gonna switch it off. And that little switch power button, by the way, is just on the utility bar. Now we've got the hand grips extended out, so we're going to extend those back in. So simply pull those back out. Instead of twisting away, you twist towards you. And they work on a spring, so they spring back into place. Now you've got two clamps on your tiller. This will also be able to adjust your height. Okay? Now you've got one clamp here. Lock back down and that puts that first one into place. Second clamp, just down here, undo your bar, drop that down, and that locks that into place as well. Now there's a little clip just in the middle here, just at the base, undo your clip just there, create that cove that you've got there. These hand grips will then fit into your hole uh, of the scooter just down there. The lever on this side is what you use to move the tiller down. So bring your tiller down, your hand grips fit in, and then you just lock that back up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this down into suitcase. So I've got two chassis clips either side of your scooter. Simply lift those up, like so, and that creates that bend in the middle, okay? Now when it comes to taking the seat down, you want to take the weight of the seat slightly, so that little bit of movement that you can see just there. And there's a little red clip just at the back. So I'm going to lift that seat up, pull that clip in, and drop that seat down. And that's how that works 
Nice and simple, when you do it a couple of times, it's complete second nature to you. Right, so bringing it up now into that suitcase position, I'm just gonna take the bottom of the chair, the back of the chair, and I'm just gonna bring it into each other and it locks into that position. So it folds down into what we call a suitcase. Now, if you wanna adjust that and wheel it around, take your tiller bar back up. So you remember those two clamps I spoke about earlier? Pull those up to the maximum height. Put your foot in front of the two wheels and then you can move that suitcase around. So that's good if you're going sort of abroad on a cruise, somewhere you would just want, you want that extra space, really, okay? Now what I'm gonna do from this position is obviously fold it back down, uh, sorry, unfold it, and make it into a scooter again. So, just reverse, you wanna take your tiller down, one clamp just there, lock that back into place, second clamp just there, lock that back into place. Make sure your tiller's all the way down. Now to take it out of this position, we do have a little keyring pull just on the left hand side of your scooter, which is just there. The best technique to do this is pull that screw out, push the scooter away, and you'll see that the front two wheels come up. So pull that out, push the scooter away, the front two wheels adjust so it's easier to push the scooter down to the floor. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So it's gonna push the scooter all the way down, and it goes into that skateboard position that we've got there. But we want to take the scooter all the way up, so it's again reverse. Take the backrest up of your seat, take the weight of your seat, that small movement that you've got there, and the red clip at the back, pull that red clip in, lift the chair up. There are two seat positions by the way. First one there, and then the second one, you do exactly the same. Weight of the seat, pull that clip up, and that gives you that extra height. Now obviously we want to stop that bend from happening, so you make sure that you do your two chassis clips up either side. One on the side on the left, and one on the side on the right. When they're both locked in, it's just taking your tiller bar up. So you've got that little clip in the middle that's locked that tiller in. Again, just undo that. Same lever on the right hand side of your scooter. Adjust that, pull that up, and that gives you your tiller bar. Now as I've been saying, we can adjust your tiller. So we can pull your clip out, get that extra height there, and pull your clip up again, and it gives you the height that you want. Now you don't have to have it so far out in front of you. If you want that tiller closer, that same lever that you use to move pulls in increments at the bottom so you can get it closer to you or further away, whatever's more comfortable for yourself. Now what I'm gonna do now is gonna take this on a little ride, and we're going to go to a car. And I'm going to show you how to put it into a car. Okay? Now obviously I want this a little bit closer to me, so I'm going to bring that lever out, bring it closer. I want this tiller a little bit down, so I'm just going to bring that down. Very simple to use. And then your hand grips, I like to have them out. So pull out, twist away. Your on and off switch is just underneath. I'm going to switch that on now. So it's just there, like a little lock rocker switch, a light switch. Up, we'll turn it on. Now I'm going to take myself back a little bit. I'm on the lowest speed as I'm inside, and then I'm going to go for a little ride outside to the car, okay? So you've got a good turning circle on here because your wheels are slightly closer together, but you've still got that stability. So coming out, and we're going to take it all the way down to where I've got the car here, okay? So I'm just going to switch this off before I do get off the scooter. Because if I'm using that as an aid, I need to make sure that I don't accidentally pull that trigger in. As I said, the armrests do lift up, so it makes it easier for me to get in and out. Like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it down into skateboard, which means that it's going to be a lot easier to put it into the car. Okay? And I'm just going to show you that now. So, hand grips extended, we want to extend them back in. Pull out, twist towards yourself, and they work on a spring so they go back in. Two clamps on your tiller, that's to adjust your height down. So number one, drop that down, lock that back into place. Number two, pull that out, drop that down, and lock that back into place like that. You want to bring that tiller down and lock it into the bar just in the middle. So I'm going to undo the bar just here. Simple as. Pull this lever down, again, the exact same lever. 
handbars will fit into the gap that we've got here and we're going to lock that up. Now because we're only going into skateboard, we don't need to touch these chassis clips. So that's a bit of folding that you don't have to do, okay? But what we are going to do now is pull that seat back down. So again, that movement on the seat, take the weight of that seat and that little red clip just there that we've been talking about, pull that and then drop that down. Now, as you may think that 23 kilograms is still a bit of weight, but we're not going to lift 23 kilograms. What we're going to do is we're going to lift half. Front wheels up to the back of your car just here. Now, depending on the surface, they're going to stay there. What we do from this position is we're going to take the back end of the scooter. We're going to push that into the back of the car, but we're going to let the car take the weight of the scooter, okay? So the little bar at the back, use, yeah, bend your knees here, use both hands, and you want to pull that up, let the car take the weight of the scooter, and you're just going to pull that across until you get it into the position that you want to have it. Now we've got these mats here, we supply these mats if you do want to purchase them, and they just protect your bumper. So when you're ready to go, you obviously just pull your mats up, close your boot, and then you're good to go, okay? So thank you for watching our first ever Facebook Live. If you do have any comments, comment below and we'll get back to you. Uh, alternatively, you can just give us a call on 0800 012 4518. Okay? Have a great day, guys.